Who is that stud on my IGTV? <laughs> We're trading places today. Ryan is going to show you all how to make his pickled red onions because I've gotten a million DMs and requests for these. And frankly, I'm really hot. Nope. I'm out of breath. I'm sweating. And uh, I think he should just do this. So. And it couldn't be easier. It's probably the easiest I'm recipe you could possibly there. make. Let's see how you do. You always tell me that I'm taking too long. I'm because... behind the camera telling her what to yeah. do. So now I get to tell you what to do. This is going to take 30 seconds. <laughs> I have one large red onion, thinly sliced, jammed into your favorite jar. You do not have to talk so fast. Okay, well, I like talking fast. <laughs> Two teaspoons salt. I thought it was one teaspoon of salt. Two. Okay. I bumped it up. Okay. Two tablespoons sugar. Mm hmm One tablespoon black peppercorn, whole. Mm hmm And then we have white vinegar. Could, do we have a bigger bottle? <laughs> I use it to clean. And apple cider vinegar. Mm hmm And then a cup of just water. We're just okay. going to combine all the ingredients in a bowl, whisk it up, put it in the jar, throw it in the fridge, and you're done. That's it. That's it. I would usually put some jalapeno in here, but we don't have any peppers. I do have jalapeno, but I don't want it. What if I want? Make some other later. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just keep going. Put it all in here. Salt and sugar. Salt, sugar. Peppercorn. Peppercorn. And everybody at home, be sure not to bite into one of those peppercorns. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, one cup of water. Mm hmm And equal parts apple cider vinegar and white vinegar. Okay, so what quarter are you using? Quarter cup of each. Quarter cup? Yeah. Why do you like using two different kinds of vinegar? Um, because the last time I made it with apple cider, I didn't care for the vinegar concentration so much, and I think the white vinegar will give it a little tanginess. A little punch it a little up punch. a little? I think it needs a little punch. But you really could use any kind of vinegar you have. Is that true? I don't know. I've never done it. I think so. Alright. Okay. And then just stir it up. Stir it up. Until the uh, salt and sugar is dissolved. Mm -hmm. And what do we use these pickled onions for? Everything. We put them on sandwiches. See, I just can't resist. The, the, I can't stand to stay behind the camera. We put them on tacos. Uh, the most important thing is we put them on sardine toast. No, no. Yeah, every day. No, the sardine eating has got to stop. He every stinks day. up our house like you would not believe. It's really not fair. Um, we put it on there. sandwiches, tacos, salads. They're great to have around. I'm actually uh, filming the kitchen tomorrow, and I'm going to put some of them on my tacos, so y'all be seeing that in a few weeks when it's on the show. Did you get it all mixed up? I did. Great. Combine it. And you could use a jar, like if you have a marinara sauce jar, or um, just a regular mason jar, if you have a pickle jar, any of that, and just push it down in there. And that's so easy. You don't even have to boil the vinegar. That's all she wrote. All right, put the lid on, put it on the fr in the fridge, and then how long does it need to sit till it's pickled? I don't know. An hour? Two hours? Oh, so I like it the quick. longer the longer the better. Yeah. I'll, I'll, we'll wait the until tomorrow. The longer it sits, the better it gets. We'll wait until tomorrow. I'll please. post a picture of it tomorrow. Thanks, Ryan. Are you going to come for my job next? Yes, that's all.